The following is a short story written by user Naser the Laser, which can be found at r slash Naser the Laser or r slash writing prompts. The writing prompt reads as follows. You're psychic. It's not a big deal. 0.5% of the population is. You keep it a secret and you don't eavesdrop. People's minds are boring. Now you're stuck in a room with a mind blind idiot who keeps loudly thinking, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. You want him to stop, but you can't reveal your secret. I know you're listening, he thought, eyes looking around with a stupid grin on his face. He was making eye contact with everyone he could as he continued to think it. I know you're listening, he thought, even more emphatically as he looked very hard at the girl that was asleep in the chair at the corner of the room away from the both of us. I breathed deeply. This has happened a number of times before, especially after there was a psychic that freaked out on the train because someone did it a few years ago. Brought about a lot of copycats trying to elicit the same reaction and out you as a psychic. But they usually never lasted longer than ten minutes. It had been two hours. We are sorry to report that the flight has been delayed another hour. We are doing everything we can to speed this process up, but we appreciate your patience in the meantime. The intercom announced to the room. We collectively groaned. Hear that? You get to listen to me even longer, he thought excitedly. He was looking at a father and his restless son, who had long ago grown bored of mashing his cars together. Isn't this fun? I love talking to you like this, he thought mischievously. His gaze glossed over me and stopped on the guy to my right. I kept myself from frowning for the upteenth time. My jaw was locked so tightly I might start cracking my teeth. I'd gone for years without telling a single soul about my ability. Most people's friends and family know, but not mine, and this brainless insider was not going to get the best of me. But he really, really needed to shut up. Hey, you're listening, right? He thought again. He never sounded bored of it. I know you're listening. He wouldn't stop. Just admit it and I'll stop, I promise. Tempting. I got up to go to the bathroom and maybe stay out of his thoughts for a couple minutes, but I didn't like people's thoughts while they went to the bathroom, so I knew I couldn't stay away for long. I followed closely behind some other people just in case. Going to the bathroom, are we? He thought in an uppity voice. I ignored him. Don't think I know it's you. I've known it was you since the beginning, he thought giddily. My heart dropped, but I didn't alter my pace at all. He had to be bluffing, right? Come on. It's so obvious, going to the bathroom to get away from me. No one else left with such a static look on their face. Most people look upset that the flight is delayed, but you have barely shown any reaction, he continued. I finally entered the bathroom behind two others and walked into the first stall I could find, locking the stall behind me. I sat on the toilet seat, not wanting to look too suspicious and ignoring the shiver of disgust that went through me. At least it was quiet. Oh gosh, I didn't think I was going to make it. If my mom knew how close I was to losing it, she would put me in diapers again. Someone at the urinal thought as he relieved himself. Okay, well, it was still better than that other guy. Hey, I followed you in here. I told you. I already know you're the psychic. No. I thought about it for a while, and you've statistically got to be the one. Based on the number of people on this flight, I'm going to mess with you the whole flight unless you fess up now. I know you're listening. No, no, no. Come on out of the stall. I'll wait either way, he said patiently. I slapped my hands to my face and rubbed my head. Did he seriously go this far to figure me out? How did he even figure me out? Come on, I'll stop once you're out, but you have to admit it. Sweat slid down my arms and face. Don't be shy. I got up hesitantly. No use in hiding if he already knew. Plus it would finally shut him up. I opened the stall and spoke at the same time. How did you figure me out? I asked, looking at the empty space in front of me. He stood in front of the stall next to me, looking straight at it. His eyes grew wide as he slowly rotated his head to my direction. I realized that he never thought it was me, but the one that walked into the bathroom before me. He looked shocked, and his breathing sped up with anticipation. This guy's the psychic? 